So you might be wondering why your do not disturb mode is not working on iOS 17. Now this is a very common issue and it can happen all over the place. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just make sure you actually are on do not disturb mode. So you can do this by basically scrolling down from the top right and you'll see this little focus mode button right here. All you're going to want to do is go ahead and tap on that focus mode option like that. And you can go and enable do not disturb mode by tapping on do not disturb mode. Now, if you have any of these other focus modes enabled, you may want to make sure that these focus modes are actually set up in order for it to actually work out properly. So if you have like sleep mode, if you have paw, or if you have heart, some of these things may not work if it's actually not you know, suitable for you, meaning if you don't have it properly set up within your settings application. And do not disturb mode is like a universal one that you can use, but if for some reason it's not working, another thing you can try doing is going through, going into your iPhone settings, you want to go ahead and get into your do not disturb mode, which is right up here under focus. So tap on focus. And once again, you just want to go and make sure do not disturb mode here is on. And if you also have, you know, a certain amount of settings you want to enable or whatever, just go through here and just go ahead and enable those settings. And that will go ahead and configure it further for you. Another thing, these focus modes, like I mentioned, if you have them set up or if you're using those focus modes, go ahead and make sure you have them properly set up to exactly what you want to you know, focus on. If you don't want to get messages or anything, you can configure it further. But that's another thing you're going to want to do here is just make sure you have these things set up properly. If it's still not working, depending on the iOS version that you're on, you may want to go ahead and update your iPhone. So make your way over into your general settings, which is right here. You're going to scroll into software update, which is right up here. And all you want to do is see if there's an update available for your iPhone. If you're on iOS 17, 16, or 15, or whatever iOS version you're on, just go ahead and update your iPhone. And a lot of the times, that's probably all you're going to have to do in order to actually fix this problem anyways. So in terms of that, that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.